are in an epidemic of scams, false advertising, and overall dishonesty in the retail world, especially in the wig world. Today I want to talk with you about a very popular retailer that is stealing pictures from creators, including me, and the major manufacturers. I'm wearing a wig from this retailer, and I'm going to show you the wig that they are using through stolen pictures to sell this one and others. If you want to know more, stick around. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. And I love sharing wigs and my hair loss journey with you. It has been such a pleasure to get to know many of you and to meet other creators and just connect in our community. And it's just honestly, it's been one of the biggest blessings of my life. Unfortunately, the wig journey isn't always a blessing to people. It can be very, very challenging in the beginning. I have a whole new wig wearer series. It's eight episodes long. I have a lot of videos trying to help anyone who wants help on the wig journey so that it isn't so stressful and challenging. But let's be real, it is challenging in the beginning. And while I know that not everybody who wears wigs has hair loss, I would like to make the argument that women with hair loss are particularly vulnerable to scams and being taken advantage of, and that is where today's video comes in. So today I'd like to talk about Timu, or Temu, I'm really not sure the correct pronunciation, but over the past six months or so, I have periodically gotten messages from Wig Sisters telling me that Temu is using my pictures on their website and I have I have like a hair like on my nose <laughs> and I have actually had some women send me screenshots of those pictures I would like to say for the record I am, have never worked with Temu Timu I have never given them permission to use any of my pictures if you see me on their website that means they have stolen those pictures and have not request, uh, received permission from me. I'll show you an example right here of one of the wigs that they have stolen a picture from. This is a really popular stolen picture. This clips of this video have been stolen and they're all over the scam sites. The wig is actually Ellen Villa Eclat, or Eclat uh, and I believe it's about a $600 synthetic wig. So absolutely not a Temu wig by any stretch of the imagination. So one day back in July, it's been a while, I started to search through the website to see if I could find some of the pictures of mine that they have stolen. And I must have scrolled through 20 some pages of wigs and I never did see my picture. Like I said, I have been sent screenshots, but I started to notice tons of stolen pictures. Stolen pictures from other creators, stolen pictures from the major manufacturers and from budget retailers, from just p random pictures on the internet. This is one reason why I tell you guys it is so critical. My dog is right here trying to play with me. <laughs> um, it's why it's so critical that you start to get to know the common pictures, get to know some of the reviewers, get to know that the, the models that the manufacturers use because they use generally the same models all the time. Once you start to recognize them, you will be able to recognize uh, scams and stolen pictures when you see them. So that brings me to the wig on my head. I was scrolling through and I found a wig, I'm sorry, a picture of John Renault Ignite. John Renault is a major name brand and Ignite is one of their most popular styles. I happen to have this one in like three colors. And I know, I know that manufacturer photo. I can see it in my sleep. I've seen it so many times. So say hi to Max. I knew I was gonna have trouble making a video up here. Um, I gave him a bone and everything. So let me handle him, I'll be right back. Just gonna have to bear with me. I really wanted to film up here and not in my office today. So anyway, so I saw the wig and I thought, I'm buying it. It was like $9 and some cents. I'll put a screenshot that I took of this wig online right here. So I thought I'd see what I would get if I purchased it. And this is the wig couple of things. I personally think we should really question whether or not we're going to support companies that engage in dishonest practices with our hard-earned money. I completely understand that some of you cannot afford the major name brands and a lot of the budget-friendly synthetics are not great, including this one, which I'll talk about in a moment. But the more we purchase from a scam retailer, 
the more we're basically supporting them scamming others. And I have heard every story in the book from many of you who have been scammed. Every now and then, you do get a wig that you can wear and that you can make your own with effort. And I believe this wig is one of those types of wigs. But sometimes you get a wig that is such garbage that no amount of skill can make it wearable. Or you get a wig that, or you never get the wig. They just, nothing ever arrives. And when you reach out to customer service, it's crickets, you don't hear from anyone. So while I know that we're all looking to do the best we can on this journey and we're trying to save money, and if you don't, can't afford a, even a $50 wig, it's really tempting to buy a wig that's listed for 10 or $15. I do wanna caution you, you may just be throwing that 10 or $15 away and you do that enough times and now you could have afforded one of the major name brands. Or you're supporting a company that isn't treating people decently. This wig, like I said, it was $9 in some sense. I struggle to believe that you could actually make this wig and pay someone a decent wage for $9 in some sense. So either they are not treating their employees well or they're getting that money in they're 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 saving the money in some other way which is also potentially nefarious can i just pause and say that he is nine months old and he is the worst when it comes to needing attention oh my gosh he's so needy so well, i'll just continue to hopefully throw the ball for him down the stairs and buy myself some time anyway so let me throw on the wig that they that they stole the picture from. They're not the same. There are some slight, potentially some slight similarities, but the wigs are absolutely not the same. Let me throw this one on. So this is John Renault Ignite in the color, I believe it's Shaded Sun. I will link the review I did on this piece down below. Ignite is one of my favorite short styles. Just get it situated. So this is Ignite. And this is the picture that they used. Again, I will put up a, a screenshot here so that you can see this is the picture that they stole in order to try to sell this piece. So let's talk about that. First of all, I do think that you could make this wig work. It is absolutely not the worst wig I have ever seen when it comes to budget scam type wigs. That said, I think there are a lot of challenges with it. First of all, this is just awful. It is like pointy. The top does not lay naturally. It is covered in permatease. There is no lace front. And so if you want to wear the sweat aside, I do think it's pretty obvious that this is a wig. I want to be fair, you guys, I personally wouldn't buy again from Timu because I know the practices that they engage in are not great and I really don't want to support that. But I will never ever judge you if you have to do the best you can and make the best decision you can and if you are suffering from hair loss and struggling financially, you may not be able to afford a more expensive wig. And so I want to give you guys an honest assessment of this situation and have you make the best decision that you can. This wig you can't purchase anymore, it's not available and that is something I've noticed a lot from sellers like this. They'll sell a wig for a month or two and then it won't be available. I feel anymore. for anyone who needs hair and doesn't have any money to buy it, I really do. Um, at one point in my life I had three little kids under the age of eight and my house was in foreclosure I didn't know how I was having to go back to work after being a stay-at-home mom. It was an awful time in my life. So I understand the financial instability that can happen. And honestly, if I would have uh, needed a wig back then, I wouldn't have been able to buy one. So I just want to help you in any way that I can. I want to protect you from being scammed. But should you ever decide to purchase from a company like Temu, I just want you to have all the information. I'm very disappointed that they operate the way that they do. I'm very disappointed that they steal our intellectual property, our pictures, the things that we work so hard on. I'm disappointed that they want to scam innocent people into thinking they're buying something that they're not. And even though this wig is somewhat decent, if you can cover the top of this, I think it's actually fairly cute. 
I still wonder though, is it is it wise to purchase from a company like this that engages in practices like that? I guess that's a question we each have to answer. I just wanted to give you the information. I know many of you have bought from Timu and have been happy with your purchase. I've heard from you. No judgment, um, but they are not a fully honest company and I think we need to be aware of that. Thanks for watching you guys. Let me know if you have questions. I'll link the review of Ignite below in case you're curious about that style and we'll talk to you later. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.